Hi everybody, Mike Gertis here from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. Ah, what a beautiful Philadelphia sunset. Ah, we're fortunate to live here. I want to talk to you today about, you know, we're just into May. So that means that we've gone through four months of the year, and I know that around the beginning of the year we always come up with plans and expectations and intentions for what we're going to accomplish, and what we're going to do, and what we're going to be, and where we're going to go. And then we're far enough into that now, I was going to suggest we may take a little checkup to see where we're at in that plan and in that intention. The reason why I bring this up is not to make you feel bad for not doing the things yet that you said you are going to do, but my suggestion is, is that you can realize that you've been doing a lot that you may not realize. Every time you do something for somebody good, most of the time we just toss it off. It's not anything significant. If you pay somebody a compliment, a sincere compliment, you tell somebody's manager or boss that you really appreciated the service that their employee gave you. If you tip a waiter for a good service or a waitress for a good service, if you write a note to somebody to tell them how much you appreciated the class that they've been giving, when you call up and tell somebody how important they are to you, how much their being in your life means to you, you're blessing them. And that's important stuff. That is truly important stuff. I think that racking up, stacking up blessings as to what we share and what we give and how we treat other people is probably a whole lot more important than what we get. And we can be grateful for a lot of things, a lot of experiences, but wow, the opportunity we have to be a blessing in somebody's life is somebody else's life. It's invaluable. Now you want to tip on how to have real joy this year let's focus on how we can bless other people in every area of our lives every area of our lives greeting the garbage myth or the trash collectors whatever we're called these days sanitary engineers telling the people at the hospital or the, at the doctor's office bless you now you don't have to say it out loud you can say it be, be quietly. I was in the driver's license bureau the other day, and th there's notorious for not having a good time there, but I had a good time there. Because so I went in there and I was blessing them. And I felt blessed. It was a wonderful opportunity to practice sharing love, being love, and experiencing love. And you know what? It came right back to me. So let's plan this year on celebrating our successes and being a blessing to other people. That's enough for me right now. No, you guys are, all of you are a blessing to me. And so it is.